these little goats, I got four of them. There's a reason why there's four. And I know I probably should have only bought two because that's what we're doing for her pets. But I just thought it was so funny that I came up with these names. And if anybody can figure out what the association is, please leave it in the comments because I'm wondering if anyone else will get this. Probably not because it's just me. Well, anyway, we have Spotty and this one is Sock and this one is Horns. And then of course we have the leader, Whimsy Perk. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Lucid Legacy Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 by the Lucid Simmer, whose channel will be linked in the comments, as well as the rules for the challenge. Now, May has had her daughter, Adora, and Adora is a spoiled child. So what we're doing for her is every day that she's a child, she's getting a new pet, a new vacation, and a new skill to work on. We're also going to add for this time a collection and an outing. So for today, she is in Mount Kumarabi. She's going snowboarding and she has pet goats. We're also adding collections of semis. So we will buy her several semis, which we already have. We have Princess Cordelia and Yamachan. So we're going to get as many as we can. Uh, we don't necessarily need to complete the collection. It's just that we need to get at least a couple of them. And then for our outing, we're going to go to the Festival of Youth today because it happens to be today. And Adora is going to go say hello to Whimsy. Why, hello, Whimsy Perk. How are you doing today? Are you going to be a good little goat? Well, it's much easier to make friends with these goats than it was to make friends with the rabbits, that's for sure. Aw, how cute. She gives Whimsy a hug. She constantly wants to go skiing, but no, we're not going skiing yet. We should at least play with the goats for a little while. Unfortunately, one of my semis got stuck. Now, hopefully May doesn't die trying to get this out. Hi, Yamachan. Can you take a selfie with me? Sure. Oh, that's so cute. Hopefully she actually gets something in her inventory. No, she doesn't. Okay, she can ask about the hunt if he will let her. They're hidden around the festival. Find 10 before the festival ends and come see me for a prize. Okay, I know I, I wanted to do void critters for this, but I also want to do void critters a different time. So... Maybe we can collect the void critters and then use them for our other collection. But this time we're actually going to collect semi capsules. But semi capsules don't really take any finding time. It's just buy them from the vending machine. And we already have four. So maybe we'll try and get some void critters. But where could they be hidden? Okay, Yamachan will not actually take a selfie with me. I was hoping that I could kind of get him in the picture, but no, only his stomach. That is annoying. Oh, okay, you just click on the ground. Check for virtual void critter. And she's checking her phone. All right, I guess that makes sense. It's probably some kind of app. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. We should make some childhood friends. Here is Alexander Goth, although I'm not sure if that's the original incarnation of him because he should not be a child. Okay, so far she's two for two. This seems too easy. Yeah, this is definitely too easy. Okay, finally she didn't collect one at this spot. So that's three out of four spots that had one. Okay, it seems like they're more difficult to find now. I think it's on a cooldown, basically. So maybe it only lets you find so many per sim hour. Okay, the Void Critters aren't cards, so we can do that later. I'm not sure what prize she'll get, but it doesn't seem like she's going to get it because I cannot find anything anymore. Okay, there's an option to give Blessing of Youth. What does that do? Okay, it just gives you a happy buff. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to get 10 Void Critters because 
it's already 619 and the festival is over at 630 and we only have three. I think maybe that this is a lot harder than I originally anticipated. And you have to look in creative places. Okay, she got five, but still, there's no way she's going to get another five and the festival's already over. Yeah, festival will end in one hour. Yeah, she seems to only be finding them around the statue area. I tried several other locations and she never did find one. Yeah, she only got seven and it's 730. All right, we're going to leave. Oh, and of course the kids cannot even feed the goats. Poor little goat. Okay, she went to the easy slope when I told her to go snowboarding. So we'll see how good Adora is at snowboarding. Is she going to fall the first time? Here she goes. Good job, Adora. You're staying on your feet. I think you can actually do snowboarding videos, but I'm not sure if that's just adults that can do that or if kids can do it too. I know kids can do the media production skill. Why did it stop? Oh, she wiped out. It stopped following her for a second. Okay, she actually lost a tooth. Oh no, cruel terra firma has claimed another enamel victim with Adora feeling a tooth lighter. Okay, that's a mouthful to say. And she got a tooth fairy certificate. I guess I should have had her try it out on the bunny slopes first. Oh, she actually landed with no collapse this time. Okay, we need to make sure that Adora has a good holiday. So she's going to be a little mischievous and then go off to bed. Oh, Trevor aged up. I completely forgot today is supposed to be Trevor's birthday. We didn't celebrate Trevor's birthday. <laughs> well, that's how it is when you have kids, to be honest. You really forget about your own birthday and you only focus on the little kid's birthday. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Trevor. You are now an adult. Well, here we are with Adora in Tartosa. And now she wants some cows for a pet. So we have Gertrude and Clara. Yeah, I know they're kind of clipping with the fence, but I really had a hard time fitting these cow barns here. She's also going to play marbles and be into wellness. So marbles is actually our collection. And the only way I know so far to get marbles is to buy them on the computer. So that's what I did. And she got five. So I think that's really enough to start her collection anyway. Oh, how sweet Gertrude is being nice. And I think for this vacation, we'll try to visit a spa since she's into wellness. And that goes very well with the spa venue and of course you remember our good goat friends they are still with us because adora's parents are going to have to take care of all of her pets even though she wants a new pet and a new fad she's not going to get rid of the old pets it's just that may is going to end up keeping a whole farm for this girl and she actually wanted to get away from the farm when she was a child. So Adora is just convincing May to like animals again. And yeah, I know that's a bad spot for the marbles, but I really had limited yard on this lot. So we have the downstairs and I have May set up over here. So she actually has the ability to record videos and make money while she's out on vacation and then upstairs is all the bedrooms we actually have three bedrooms upstairs one for the butler because he follows me everywhere and of course one for Adora and one for Trevor and May and the flower bunny is visiting because it's the spring festival I'm not going to complete the holidays for everyone. Our focus is going to be Adora. So once Adora gets her spring festival done, then we'll go to the spa. 
Oh, and Carl has a new mod called Try to Make Friends. If you click on that button, it will spam friendly socials and hopefully not duplicate them. I think it tries not to. And then if you're failing too much, it'll even stop. But this is helpful, especially for YouTubers who don't want to click on the stupid bunny or whatever person they're talking to in order to go through the social menu and pick specific socials. You can just tell a story while your Sims are talking to each other. And now we need to go egg hunting. Maybe that should have been our collection for today. Uh, but the only thing is, I didn't know that this was the holiday, so I picked marbles for this one. Oh, we actually don't need to do it for the holiday. Okay, so maybe we won't collect eggs. Okay, unfortunately, Adora cannot request a manicure or a pedicure. But she can get an animal face mask. I wonder what that looks like. Okay, that's kind of cute, but I think it's a zebra. I wonder if there are different kinds. Oh, kids can actually join the yoga class? Well, that's cool. Is she going to stay on the same mat? It looks like it. Okay, they're doing a yoga class, but unfortunately the animation is just frozen. Or maybe we're waiting for someone to join. Okay, yes, there was another yoga participant that needed to join, so that's why they weren't doing anything. Well, I guess May's going to get a massage since Adora cannot. She's a child, so she has very limited things that she can do. Okay, apparently the pregnant woman can only give a, a fertility massage. I mean, that's kind of weird. Why is she even in here? I think she's pregnant. Yes, she is pregnant. So for some reason, when you click on the bed, you can hit get a massage and pick any of these massages. And it gives her as a choice, but then it won't do it. If you click on her directly... It only allows you to get a fertility massage, and that's all. This is a really long yoga class. I think she's going to need a shower afterwards. Are there showers here? Okay, yes, there are showers here. That's good. Once May's done with her massage, I think we'll go. It's only 9 p.m. and Adora is already tired, but she did everything today that she wanted to do. Maybe we'll call out the cows one last time and just make sure that they're clean. Well, here we are in Newcrest. And this time, Adora wants to have a pet fox. Now, foxes are a bit tricky because they're actually wild animals. So hopefully we can meet some. I've set the wild foxes to true. And I don't know if we'll see any or not. But she also wants to play the violin. And she wants to collect My Sims trophies. We might go to a movie park if it gets dark and we haven't seen any foxes. I'm kind of worried about that. But we'll just say that we met some foxes even if we don't. Now I was hoping to have Trevor good enough to mentor Adora on the violin. But Trevor has been slacking. And he is only level 6. I think you have to be almost level 10 or maybe even 9 in order to mentor and I'm not sure if he can mentor a child anyway but I don't have the option yet. I really like this house too. This is the renovation challenges base game I have up on the gallery. Now I did replace some of the things in here with non-base game items for just for this playthrough but it the version on the gallery is entirely base game and it has a lot more clutter and messy stuff around because the idea is that it's a family that just moved in and you're supposed to renovate it. I'm not sure how many dig sites are around here in Newcrest, but we're also supposed to try and get the My Sims trophies. We'll try and get a few. I'm not sure if we'll get any or not. I would be happy with just one, to be honest. Another nice mod that Carl has is if you don't want to look everywhere for the stupid collectibles, he has this fine collectibles button that automatically puts in your queue all of the collectibles in the zone. That is pretty awesome. Oh, there's a fox. We found a fox. Now with the foxes, I may not be able to find two, but that's okay. If we can get just one, that'll be nice. Robin is not very friendly. He's an elder, though. 
Oh, there's another fox! Okay, I just need two foxes. That's it. And Ryan's an elder, too. Oh, all the foxes are elders! Well, we won't have them for very long. Oh, how cute. He sings back. Now, I know Newcrest is probably not the best place to find my Sims trophies, but I wanted to try and make this a little bit random, so I didn't choose Oasis Springs because that just didn't come up as my random choice. So anyway, Adora is going to watch a movie here at this outdoor theater park, which is also in the gallery, and I don't remember the name maybe i'll link it down below if i can remember the name of the person who posted it but it's kind of cute and she's going to hopefully not get interrupted with her movie meanwhile trevor is running around trying to find all the collectibles and there's nothing but frogs and harvestables here i don't see any rock formations or dig sites oh there's one Please have a My Sims trophy. Just one My Sims trophy. I know I've seen a lot of people try to do the jewel crafting skill and they're not able to find any metals or crystals because they keep finding My Sims trophies. Well, I cannot find any My Sims trophies when that is what I want. A Baconite. Okay, it looks like this area might be more prone to collectibles. Okay, I had to make a small detour to Oasis Springs in order to get some My Sim trophies, but we finally did get a few. So it seems like they only show up in Oasis Springs. I dug up so many rocks in Newcrest in three different areas, went to Willow Creek, couldn't find a single one, and went to Oasis Springs and found five just in the park. So... There is a little hint if you're looking for My Sims trophies. Oh look, Adora met a new friend, Grace Munch. So this time she's going to be into Void Critters. So she has some booster packs and we have the game console that we can train them on. But she's here in Evergreen Harbor and she's going to be working on her dancing. And she has some hedgehog pets. And she wants to visit the marketplace. So hopefully the hedgehogs are not too bugged because these things sometimes die off because unfortunately they starve to death even though you keep them fed. So I'm not sure if I can keep these alive or not. But this is Sonic and this is Tails. Let's give Sonic a little treat. Hopefully we don't get bitten. I've never actually had them bite me, but I know they can. If I give them a treat every day, maybe that'll keep them alive. Now for the void critters, I've never actually played with this very much, so I don't know how it works. But she's going to train her Cyprin, which is a fire elemental one. Okay, Cyprin is still level 1 after a training round. So I don't know how much you have to train them to get their power level to go up. Oh, it looks like he's winning this time. I think last time he didn't win. Still only power level 1. Okay, and Adora is just working on her dancing, which also gets her motor skill up. Okay, the thing about the My First Pet Stuff Pets is they have these little pop-ups every once in a while. Thank you, Sonic. The doctors at the Sacred Spleen Memorial Hospital wish to express their gratitude to Sonic. This year will be remembered in medical history as the year that a fully functioning ear was grown on Sonic's back, which was transferred to a sim suffering from anosia. Maybe that's uh, missing an ear. <laughs> Here's to you, Sonic. I'm not familiar with that medical term. Time's up, Tails. Anyone seen a rodent around here goes by the name Tails? Let them know that Don Lamb Grab is looking for a payment if they want to continue to feel protected. There isn't a Don Land Grab, at least not in The Sims 4. Okay, I had to invite another child over, but I can actually challenge Grace to avoid critter battle. 
What? She has an Articorn power level 9? Um, yeah, I'm not going to win this one. And here I thought my Veld level 2 was at least something better than nothing because they start at level 1. It takes like 4 trainings to get them up to level 2. And I didn't know how high they went. I thought maybe it only had 3 levels, but I guess it has at least 10. What? Okay, she's winning with a level 2. That really doesn't make any sense unless for some reason Void is better than water. Unfortunately, the only thing to buy out here is fizzy drinks. Oh, maybe some candles. But still, I don't think that Adora can drink the fizzy drinks. No, she cannot. And May was promoted. She actually went to work this time because we're not a officially on vacation. Unfortunately, when you have the hedgehogs or any of those other My First Pet Stuff pets, you can't go on vacation with them. So I actually moved them into this residential area and they're technically on vacation. But the parents are actually going to work now. And the reason for that is that Trevor works from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Well, he used to work from 9 to 5. And then May was working from 5 p.m. to midnight. Now they're both working the night shift on slightly different days. But I need at least one of them to be home with Adora or on vacation at the vacation home with Adora. And, oh, Adora needs to call off school because she's just basically never going to school. Okay, I promise this reference might be a little bit more clear. So Adora is going to get dogs this time. And we have John Luck Pickard and Mr. Wolf. So Adora is just going to go training them. And she's in Salvadorada. And we're also going to be working on pet training, which goes nicely with dogs. So that's why I actually chose this skill. Come on, Mr. Pickard. We're going to collect some Amiskin treasures and we're going to visit the museum. Now, I didn't know if you selected run the obstacle course that they would actually go and use all of the items. But that's what it looks like it's happening here. I think we won't focus too much on the dog training because it's a little bit boring. They run through the obstacle course. Yeah, big deal. Oh, it has a score too. Five out of 20. So John Luck is an adventurous sleuth and independent. And Mr. Wolf is a hunter, loyal, and aggressive. Oh, and it's also May's birthday. Uh, but we might not be celebrating that because I just don't have time with all the stuff we're doing for Adora. So here we are at the museum. There's nothing much really to do except for a look at the artifacts. I wish they had some kind of tour that you could set up. Maybe some museum guide that would stop by for every art piece and kind of give a little talk. I guess you can give a lecture if you're an archaeologist, but this is really wasted. Museums are just places to go look around, and it seems kind of pointless. So at the little arts and crafts center that I added in one corner, we might draw a picture for Adora. She hasn't spent much time doing artwork, but I guess she can do some art at the museum. There's also a science table here, but she can't make any potions, so we're not going to bother. Well, May is going to get started clearing the path. Now, Amiskin treasures can only be really collected by adults, but we're going to bring Adora along and May is going to do all the work. Suddenly, Sloth, as May rounds the corner, there's a stillness in the air. She looks up and notices a bed of Sloths watching her. Mayhem is distracted for a moment and walks into a low-hanging branch, releasing a small band of fireflies, which fly at the sloths and begin to bother them, scorching their fur in spots. What should May do? Distract them with a dance. Sure, we actually have Salvadoradian culture. I'm not sure how much, though. 
The flies in the sloths. Mayhem starts making noise as she embarks on a local dance, hoping to distract the flies from the sloths. The moves feel awkward and Mayhem trips as the, as the flies redouble their attacks. The sloths become agitated as they shake the trees. A few branches break off and strike Mayhem on the head, who runs away before anything worse can happen. Okay, she failed that one. The waterfall here is actually quite amazing. I really, really like it. Sloths again? Sure, we'll try the dance. And this time we won, I think. Mayhem starts making noise. Yeah, the moves work as the flies are confused by the whirling figure below and decide to fly off. A moment later, a crystal drops from the trees as Mayhem looks up and locks eyes with one especially friendly sloth that winks back at her. Okay, we're going to clear the path with our hands this time. And actually... We need to go straight to the temple. No side quests, no archaeology things, because we need the treasures. And most of the treasures are in the temple. And it's very hard to get the side quests treasures anyway. Oh, May is only gardening level two. I guess she didn't spend very much time gardening when she was on the farm. Oh no, plasma bats. Capybara and the bees. While blazing a trail in the jungle, Mayhem comes across a small group of capybaras hanging out by a watering hole. As she observes them, she notices one of them is approaching a huge swarm of bees. The capybara doesn't seem to notice the impending danger. What should she do? Scare off the bees. Uh, I'm not sure her fitness skills that great, but we'll try it. The rodents of the bees. Mayhem wants to save the poor capybara the pain of getting stunk, so she starts waving her arms and yelling. The bee swarm immediately turns her direction. Unfortunately, she falls over a log while fleeing and is stung all over. Okay, we got stung. All right, now that we're in the temple, what we need to do is examine these triggers. And the ones that have a thumbs down are definitely not it. If you find a green thumbs up, you only need to find one of them. But most of the time you don't find it. And the rest of them are yellow question marks. And you might only have one question mark left or you might have many, depending on your skills. So it looks like it's testing her charisma at first and now her logic. And if she has really good charisma, which I think she does. Yeah, look, oh, May aged up. Okay, so now she's an adult. Yeah, she has level 7 charisma, and then her logic is level 8. So she should be able to uh, continue examining. We need to figure out which ones are not question marks. I think she got interrupted by aging up. Okay, so we have assemble leaves glyphs or tell skeleton pun. Are there any more triggers in this room? I think there's only two in the first room. So we will go with Assemble Leaves Glyphs. And if you get this right, it opens. If you get it wrong, then you triggered a trap and something bad may happen to you. That looks like she was right. Oh, it looks like a door is getting stung by spiders. Again? And the insects are just annoying in this zone. We actually got a green one, so we don't have to research the last one. And again, we actually got the right one. So this is going quick because May is actually pretty skilled. So she's getting a lot of right ones. Well, we've got a treasure chest. So we should have at least one Amiskin treasure. And we get a frog. Abandoned campsite. Mayhem is blazing a trail through the thick jungle when she stumbles upon a campsite. It's a pretty remote location and she doesn't see anyone nearby, but she's not sure if it's actually abandoned. Should Mayhem take a look around? Oh, fitness is not that great. Arm self with insulation powder. Consumes lightning insulation powder. Okay, we have some, so we might as well use it. Mayhem cautiously approaches the campsite armed with the insulation powder as a form of protection. Nothing seems to be amiss. So Mayhem helps herself to an artifact that appears to be abandoned. Suddenly, a wild eye Sim rushes her. May sprays the insulation powder in the crazed Sim's face and escapes with her prize. Okay, there's a treasure chest over here. And nothing too spectacular. Watchful observer. 
On a jungle trek, Mayhem is watching the birds fly through the canopy when she almost tumbles over a very strange looking egg. A bird of prey is perched nearby and seems to be eyeing the egg hungrily. Should she protectively watch the egg? We don't really have high archaeology skill, but we'll try it anyway. Mayhem suspects this egg may be a legendary creature described in many folk tales. The scientist in her decides it would be best to wait and observe the creature hatching. After some time, there's a loud crack and a flash of light, and the creature is born. Mayhem carries a soft, adorable creature to a safe cave where it bestows a blessing on her. Okay, and of course, the path to the actual treasure is blocked. So you have to come here more than once to get through all the paths. And we cannot go that way this time. Well, welcome to Batu. You guessed it. Now Adora wants to go to Batu. So she also has some cats and wants to work on her comedy skill and collect lightsaber parts. And we're going to visit the different camps for the Resistance and the First Order. Now, kids really can't do very much in Batu, and technically, pets are not allowed. So, I had to actually Google this. Basically, what happens when you join a vacation is that even if you select the pets to come, it leaves them home with a pet sitter. So, what I had to do is just join the vacation with Trevor. So, on his friend panel, I invited May to join the vacation, and then Adora and then the cats and it actually brought the cats now if you leave just the pets at home when you try to make the vacation it will not allow you to invite to join you can click on it but it won't actually bring them but if for, for some reason if there are other sims at home and you click invite to join vacation it will actually bring the cats and i you know, you can't do it any other way. I even tried teleporting them here with MC Command Center and it wouldn't work. So we actually had our cats join our vacation and this is Dada and Thomas. So I love Adora's outfit. If you don't remember, this was May's winter wear when she was a child because she liked to be dressed up in costumes. And we're keeping that. Adora is definitely going to be a Jawa for her Batu outfit. And she can't really do anything functional in Batu. It's such a shame that the kids can't get involved. So we'll have to have the parents do the missions in order to get the lightsaber task and get the lightsaber parts. Uh, kids can't even actually use lightsabers, but she's just collecting them. She's not going to use it. So we'll just have Adora play with the little kitties while she's waiting for the parents to get their stuff done. And it's also love day. And I think Adora just wants to give flowers. So we can do that. Um, I thought we could do that. It empties your inventory. Oh, that sucks. All right. I had a bunch of stuff in their inventory. Okay. A blue Kuiper crystal is 450 credits. And looks like the hilts are all 250 Maybe we should collect Ewoks instead. Although I think you can just buy these from build mode uh, anyway. But let's just say that she's collecting those. Because lightsaber, yeah, maybe a Sith holocron. Lightsaber doesn't really make sense because she can't use it. So we're going to buy like the other things that they have available here in Batu but buy them legitimately instead of unlocking them artificially in build mode. Oh, even if you purchase gifts on your phone, it's in credits and not in simoleons. Well, I have to have a daisy because it's love day and May wants to give away a flower. Adora, Adora wants to give away a flower. Why am I always mixing that up? They don't really have any coffee here. I'm not sure what's may is going to do she might try mugan tea sometimes the teas will give you credit for coffee i'm going to swipe this guy's jet juice 
<laughs> it's a hundred credits. I'm not paying that much for a drink, but jet juice is kind of like coffee, maybe? I don't know. No, nothing I drink is coffee. Oh, everything you sell from your inventory becomes credits too. So I think that's why you don't get anything in your inventory when you come to bed too. I had a litter box and a food bowl in my inventory, but I had to use rebuild and set them on the lot because for whatever reason, I cannot bring items with me. So yeah, I can scan the Millennial Falcon. What does that do as a child though? Where is Hondo? I wanted to do some scoundrel tasks, but I don't see Hondo. Okay, if you travel with the pets, then it will send them home. Let's see if we can invite them back. No, you cannot invite them back. Okay, so traveling with the pets to a different area of Batu was a bad idea. Oh, a BB unit. Maybe you will get one of those if we can afford it. I think it's too expensive. It's a thousand. We might have to do quite a bit of questing for that. Oh, we can get toy ones. Yeah, let's just get a toy one, a couple of toy ones and call it a day. We're collecting toys. We are not collecting actual units. Okay, one thing kids can do in Batu is play in the tent. But I completely forgot. May Adora. Not May. Adora is supposed to be working on her comedy. Where are the people in this camp? I don't know where they are. Okay, here's some people. Trevor! What are you doing? They're going to the tent to woohoo. Or maybe to the base? I don't know where they're going. But it said Trevor has learned May's woohoo interests. No pregnancies. Oh well, I could have stopped them, but it's love day. I should let them have their fun. Okay, I don't see anywhere to eat at the camps. And I have explored the resistance camp a little bit. It seems like they have a lot less in the resistance camp than they do in the First Order area. So nothing to see here. So on this dreary day in Granite Falls, Adora has decided to go hiking and work on her fitness. And she's also going to be collecting insects and taking care of her horses. So she has Fancy and Mr. Pants. Okay, hiking doesn't count as motor or fitness. So I guess we're going to have to go jogging. Except kids can't go jogging, so we'll just collect some insects, go riding, and I gotta figure out how we can do fitness. Uh, maybe we'll get some playground equipment in the national park. And when kids are new to riding, the horses will actually get down on the ground so that the kids can get on. But once they get the hang of it, they don't do that anymore. Okay, kids get motor skill and horseback riding from this. I don't think that they can get the fitness skill. I think it's just motor. So this actually counts as fitness. Well, I've installed some playground equipment here at the National Park. And that's what we're going to do. We're not really going to find the hermit. That's not that interesting to me anymore. But I do really like the mod that Carl put out that allows me to just find all of the collectibles. So after Meg makes her rounds on the playground, we're probably going to be done for today. Oh, you can have two sea monsters. Oh no, Adora, what are you going to do? It's attack at the sea monsters. We have to go get those sea monsters. Shoot the cannons, fire away. <laughs> Little bubbles come out. That's a cute touch. Okay, and you can go look at the fire ants and all the other bugs they have on display at the little museum here. You can play some guitar, you can play some chess. Oh, they even have a woodworking table out here. Oh, can you learn how to make this statue? I forget how to learn how to do that. I think you have to go visit the big statue and your woodworking or handiness has to be a high level. 
Well, it's the end of another week. What do you think? Should we continue doing something like this for Adora's teenage years? Or is she going to be settled on music as soon as a teenager? Let me know what you think in the comments if we should continue flip-flopping about like this for her teenage lifestyle. Or if we should just start doing her tasks as a teenager. This is Charity. Thanks for watching.